I am Janvi Pavar. Welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel. If y'all are new here, then y'all can start off at subscribing. I'm just kidding, it's your choice. All right, so today we're gonna be talking about the differences between American English words and British English words. Now, there are lots of differences between the accent, but there's also many differences between the words. Words meaning the same thing. All right, let's get started. So in America, the weather fall is fall. So in American English, the weather is fall. Whereas that same weather in British English is autumn. Autumn. So it's autumn in British English, fall in American English. So fall, autumn. Next word is sidewalk. Sidewalk. So in American English, it's sidewalk. Whereas in British English, it's pavement. Pavement. You know that sidewalk thing you got? So in America, you call it a sidewalk, whereas in British English, you call it a pavement. Pavement. In America, when you go to watch a movie, so that thing you watch movie in, you call it a movie theater. A movie theater. But in British English, we call it a cinema. Cinema. So in Britain, if you want to watch a movie, so you're going to go to a cinema. Whereas in America, if you're going to watch a movie, so you're going to go to a movie theater. A movie theater. Cool. Now, another word we have is closet. Closet. So closet is an Elmira where you keep your clothes, hanger clothes. So in American English, we call it a closet. Whereas in British English, we call it wardrobe. Wardrobe. So, it's wardrobe in British English. In American English, it's closet. Closet. Next word we have, chips. Chips. In American English, we eat chips. Whereas in British English, we eat crisps. Crisps. I think crisps sounds more interesting. Okay, so in America, if you want to eat chips, you're eating chips. But in British English, you're eating crisps. Crisps. The next word is sneakers. Sneakers. Sneakers are what? The, the shoes you wear? So in American English, the shoes you wear are sneakers. Sneakers. Not every kind of shoes. There's a sneakers kind of shoes. Whereas in British English, you call the same thing trainers. Trainers. So it's trainers in British English. In American English, it's sneakers. Sneakers. The next word we have is sweater. Sweater. Sweater weather. Okay, so sweater is in American English, whereas in British English, English, it's jumper, jumper. So sweater, jumper. Next word we have is soccer, soccer. Soccer is a sport. So in American English, you call this sport a s soccer, <laughs> soccer. Whereas in British English, you call the same sport football, football. So, in American English, we call it what? We call it soccer. In British English, we call it football. Next word we have is mom. Mom. So, in American English, you call your mom, mom. Whereas, in British English, you call her mom, mom. So, mom in British English. In American English, it's mom. Next one we have is movie. Movie. So, when you go to a movie theater, you watch a movie. But... When you go to a cinema, you watch a film. Noticing the difference? Yes, so in American English, a movie is a movie. In British English, a movie is a film. So basically, a film is a film, a movie is a movie, and both are the same things. So these are some of the differences between both of the accents. Okay, go through these once again. So word number one was fall. Fall. Autumn. Fall. Autumn. Movie theater, movie theater, cinema, cinema, sidewalk, pavement, sidewalk, pavement. I kind of like doing this. All right, closet, wardrobe, closet, wardrobe, chips, crisps, chips, crisps, sneakers, trainers, sneakers, trainers, sweater, jumper. Sweater, jumper. I can make a song with this. Soccer in American English, football in British English. So it's soccer, football, mom, mom, movie, film. All right, y'all. Thanks so, so much for watching. I'm going to see you all in the next video. And these are 
some of the main differences and I hope you all stay safe. If you all want to buy my courses, then the links are in the description box below. Also, if you all want to connect with me, then you all can follow me on my social media. Thanks so much. See you in the next video. Stay safe. Bye.